Hey guys, what's up? Uh, just wanted to let you guys know before I do this whole movie review real quick uh, is that uh, you guys sure know me as MikeyMan510. Um, my webpage uh, got hacked. Uh, let's just say you had some stalkers and stuff, so I cannot continue that page anymore. So I'll be doing everything on this page now, which is uh, uh, the movie, uh, Man, Mo movie Man Mike 510 instead. Uh, so all my stuff will be on here. All the videos will be coming and stuff just for personal reasons. I had to change that. So yeah, Movie Man Mike 510 for now on. And the first review I'm doing today is right here. Super 8. And uh, I watched this yesterday and, uh, you know, I was very skeptical. Uh, you know, J.J. Abrams, you know, he, he made Cloverfield and, you know, I know this was sort of kind of like that cre creature sort of thing. And I got to say, I, I liked it a lot. It was excellent. Uh, pretty much, you know, it's about a group of kids. They're filming their own mo mo movie with a super, you know, with the uh, with the 8mm film. And... Uh, they, uh, uh, the director kid wanted to shoot it uh, when the train was going by. You know, he goes, oh, you know, bring the value, blah, blah, blah. So they're trying to do it while the train's going by. It's about six friends. And all of a sudden you see a white truck come around and smash the front of the train. And all of a sudden the train derails. And, the, and from there, just hell breaks loose. Something comes out. A creature sort of thing, which you see him towards the, you see him in the middle, then towards the end. And it was pretty cool looking. Um... The acting, I say, was pretty good. Uh, the kids did a great, hey, great job in it. Um, uh, the one guy, the the police officer, I forgot his name. Uh, what's his name? Don't remember his name, but he did okay. He was all right. I think he tried too, too hard. Uh, is this guy? You can actually see him. The police officer guy, all the way to uh, look to the left. But the movie was good, and the kids. Uh, you know, they, they witnessed it, and all of a sudden the Air Force comes in with all their stuff, all their uh, saying, because that was actually an Air Force train, and they come in, and they, they check it out, and uh, they're like, oh, don't worry, because it happened in a small town. They're like, oh, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. We'll clean it up. But all this, they found all these weird cubes and stuff. I I enjoyed the movie a lot. I, like, I actually liked it a lot. I mean, the storyline where, you know, the kid and the girl, you know, like each other and, and you know, it's, it, it hates excellent. I definitely say if you want to watch this movie, uh, I'll go get it. It's, it's really cool. I enjoyed it. And uh, I really, you know, I mean, you usually, usually it takes a lot to catch my attention with a movie. And like I said, I was, I wasn't sure about this and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll give it a chance. Fuck it. And, uh, you know, and I'll go from there. It's, hey, PG-13, I think it's like, I think it's like 100 minutes long or 110 minutes long. Uh, it's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty much, like I said, it's based on six, six friends. They witnessed train crash and all that stuff. And it's just, it, the visual effects are cool. And if you have a really good imagination, you'll enjoy this. So, I just want to tell you guys. I give this a thumbs up. Check it out. I enjoyed it. Catch me next time, guys. Like I said, Mikey Man 510, that's me, but not on that channel. For now on, Movie Man Mike 510. Again, it's Movie Man Mike. Please subscribe. Help me out. Please. I, you know, not, I gotta get all my subscriptions back. I, I'm totally pissed about it already, what happened. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching and catch you next time.